Next up on our tour to Chargers, we're going into familiar territory and charging up at an Electrify America. Back at the Westworth Village Sam's Club at our old friend Electrify America, and we're going to do a quick test on uh, charging here if this will work out right. So I'm going to start off by going into car scanner. Right now our battery temp is at 80.6 degrees, ambient air temperature at 87.8 degrees. We're at a 43% state of charge and the car is on for climate control right now but that's about it and so it's drawing one point one and a half kilowatts. So I'm going to go to the Electrify America app which when I checked it uh, momentarily, and when I checked it when I pulled up, it said that this charger was in use. Um, so I don't know what's gonna happen, but as you can see, there's no one here. I don't know if that means that they're working on this station or what. Uh, this says plug in first and two, uh, handle number two shows as ready, handle number one shows as unavailable. So I took charge handle number two and I plugged it in and it says it is connecting to the vehicle. I've got a lot of glare. I can barely see this, but I learned on our trip that play by credit card or mobile wallet. So I put the card in and it says processing payment now and the charger has kicked on. The, the screens on these EAs, when they're in direct sunlight, are, are hard to see. And it's I've, one of the things I learned on the road trip is that it was easier to see from the camera. The camera could see it better than my eyes could. So every time I said, hey, I can't see anything, or I'd say the screen was bricked out or something, it would know. Okay, so this is gonna charge me 16 cents a minute. It's the non-member rate which is fine. I'm gonna push the continue button and then it should give me a screen that tells me what's up. Come on, work, work, work. There we go. And submit. There we go. So now I should be able to receive session updates by text message. It's giving me the message that says Thank you for choosing Electrify America. And it shows me at a 43% state of charge. Uh, we've already delivered a kilowatt and a half and uh, we're at one minute. So when this gets to 10 minutes, I'm going to disconnect and uh, see where we're, where we're at in terms of cost, power delivered, battery temperature, all of that. When I got here, this Electrify America was proving, to, you know, was showing to be a little bit buggy. Um, we, we came out here uh, about a month before we took our road trip to test it out and had some issues and all that, but didn't have any issues on our road trip. We got a successful charge our first time here. It just took a few different tries to get started. Uh, this time I went to the same exact charger I used before. And in the app, every charger shows that it's either unavailable or in use, but there are no other cars here. Uh, no cars here charging or anything. There was a pickup truck and a guy putting a toolbox in when I left, so maybe they were working on it which is good, but since it was uh, showing as in use on the app, I couldn't sign in with my account, but the charger knew nobody was using it, so I was able to just use it and make a payment that way, and hopefully I'll get a text message receipt. If not, I'll just be sure to get some uh, shots of what the final tally is at the end. But did get charging right away using the card reader, so that's fine. We're uh, at the non-member rate of 16 cents a minute. We're gonna be here for 10 minutes, so this should cost us $1.60. I'm gonna see if that's gonna be about the same, uh, how much charge we get. We're, um, we got 8.7 when I charged at a 7-Eleven uh, 7 charge and got 8.7 kilowatts over the course of 10 minutes. So we'll see how much energy gets delivered from this Electrify America station in that same amount of time. I'm gonna also try to get the um, 
I'll, I'll make a note of where it is at 10 minutes, but I started at 33% at that seven charge and I'm at 43% here. And once my, uh, once this bolt gets to 50%, the charge speed's gonna taper off. And so it might take a little longer to get to 8.7 kilowatts, but I wanna do, uh, try to get as close to the exact amount of charge I got at that seven charge to compare costs. Right now it says we have been charging now for six minutes. I'm gonna do a quick check in with car scanner and see where we're at. We're saying we're at 51% in the battery pack. I'm charging uh, now just dipped below 50 kilowatts right there. Hopefully you can see that. 50.6, 50.5, and then it drops down to 49. So we'll see where we're at in, uh, in four minutes time. So as soon as I say nobody's here, we get a Bolt EUV and an Ionic 5 that pulled up at just about the same time. So now there's really three cars charging at this, but I'm only gonna be here for about another three minutes and free this charger up. Right now, uh, it's showing delivered 7.3 and eight minutes. So here's what happens when you got people, you, you, you start talking to them when you're at the charging station and lose track of time. So we've been charging for slightly longer than 10 minutes. Gonna check in with car scanner. I'm at 58% in the battery pack, still pulling 46 points, uh, about 46 and a half kilowatts. Battery temp is up to 86 degrees. I'm gonna show you what the charge screen says. Been here for 12 minutes. It's delivered 10.4 kilowatts and $1.91. So more power and half the cost of that seven charge for, uh, for just a little bit more. Hit stop, but it's not wanting to stop. Stop. There we go. Please unplug and then I'll get the uh, session summary here in a minute. updating and there's the whole thing uh, tax is a dollar nine uh, 16 cents so two dollars and 14 cents delivered 10.681 kilowatt hours I'll do some math and uh, figure out what all that was well I finished charging and I wanted to get my last thoughts but the charger space is kind of filled up uh, and we were now actually using three of the four charging stations there because of the the Bolt EUV and the Ionic 5 that showed up. I got what I wanted and so I figured I'd move out of the way and I'm going to show you what some of uh, some of the stats that we got at this Electrify America. So first off a last check on car scanner. I've got battery temp at 86 degrees uh, with the ambient air temperature at 87.8 degrees we're at 58 percent state of charge and uh we we dipped a little bit below the 50 percent but we got 10.681 i'm going to pull up the text message i got uh power delivered 10.68 kilowatt hours and it was a total cost of two dollars and 14 cents uh was what was charged so two dollars and 14 cents divided by 10.68 was 20 cents per kilowatt hour which at the the even the, at the non-member rate for electrify america would be 43 cents a kilowatt hour so by the minute on a bolt uh when you're near the peak charge rate of uh 50 kilowatts and we're we're a little over it got to 58 percent state of charge is less than half of what it would be if this electrify america charged at uh, charged by the kilowatt hour instead of by the minute. If I was at that uh, seven charge, $10, 10.68 kilowatt hours times 0.55 would have cost me $5.87. So more than double, almost triple the cost um, at that seven charge compared to the EA. Uh, and yeah, the EA had had its bugs. It thought all of these charge stations were uh, were were in use. The Bolt, who plugged in next to me, used his card. The Ionic Five, the car had plug and charge. He plugged in. It recognized the car, and he was good to go. And it just started charging him. So uh, right now, good on 7-Eleven for installing the charging stations. But right now, Electrify America is still the way to go. Um, at least in terms of total cost, we're talking again $5.87 versus $2.14 for the exact same amount of power. Real world, I paid $2.14 at this EA compared to the $4.79 at the 7 charge. So 10.68 kilowatts. Let's, let's, um, 
let's do how much I actually got. 10.68 kilowatts kilowatt hours. Right now the car is able to do 3.9 uh, miles per kilowatt. So times 3.9. That's 41.65 miles and, that I would have gotten. And 41.65, 2.14 divided by 41.65 is 5 cents per mile is what this would work out to be. Uh, on our Subaru, which gets about 28 miles per gallon at 5 cents per mile times 28, means gas would have to be $1.43. This uh, Sam's Club over here, the gas is showing at uh, 297 a gallon. I'll get a picture of that. So at 297 compared to $1.43. So plugging this car in costs half what it would to fill it up with gas. That's a little bit more like what I'm used to. So thank you for tuning in and uh, join us on our next episode of our Tour to Chargers.